Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Ramcast, or welcome to the Ramcast. I'm your lovely host today, Landry, and we are joined by my other host today. This is... Callie. And this is... Corey. Shout out to St. Croix. We have a great show for you today, some crazy announcements, but first, our brave Savannah is out in the wilderness hunting for an interview, and it looks like she's caught a big one. Take it away, Savannah. Hello there, and thank you so much, Landry, for turning it over to me. I'm here with some of the FBLA students, and they're here to tell me all about FBLA week and the blackout game. Why don't you guys go ahead and tell me some more about it? Go ahead. Hi, so I'm Bradley Brands, Vice President of FBLA, and on February 2nd, we're having our 15th annual blackout game, so be sure to be there and be sure to buy your shirts. The last day to buy them is this Friday. On, uh... On January 26th, uh, I'm Nolan Armstrong, the president of FBLA. So we just came off our area conference, did very good at that. And this, uh, on February 12th to 16th, we're having FBLA week. So for our members, it's just a reminder, Monday's the trivia scavenger hunt online. Be sure to check that in, win a prize if you win. Tuesday's breakfast of champions, be in Hayes' room uh, early by 7.30. Wednesday is the member meeting, 5.30 to 7. We're doing having a guest speaker, and we're going to do Valentine, Valentine's Day cards. Thursday, professional dress day. So if you see me walking around a lot, that's how you should dress. And Friday is member shirt day, and also the day that you uh, dress for the yearbook. So a lot of stuff coming up that week. Uh, make sure to celebrate FBLA with us. So thank you. Certainly seems like a really fun week for FBLA. And yes, Landry, I know you're going to ask. I catch the big one, like you always say. But this is a great interview for you guys. We're so glad to have you guys back or have you here for the first time. And thank you so much again. Thank you for having us. Thanks for having us. Back to you, Landry. Thanks, Savannah. We wish you luck on your next hunt. Now let's go to our host in training, Callie, for announcements. Chess team member sectionals are on Saturday, January 27th. Make sure to be prepared. Any girl wishing to participate in track should get in touch with Coach Mings. Over. Hosa will be sponsoring the January Blood Drive on Friday, January 26th in the MVTHS Turf Room. Your donation can save up to three lives. If you are 16 and older, please consider donating. Come to room B116 to sign up and get your parental permission form. The 15th Annual Rams Blackout Game is February 2nd against the Cahokia Comanches. It is... Is the it is the last home game and senior night. Pre-order your blackout shirt today from any FBLA member. Mrs. Hayes, room B202, or tech services. Deadline to order this Friday. So order it this Friday. I'm not, I'm warning you. You better order your shirt or hoodie or whatever to sell. Um, click the link in the description down below to order online by Thursday 1-25 because I can't read dates. There will be a limited quantity of short sleeve shirts available for purchase next week. Let's turn Chengnan Jim into a sea of black to show our Ram pride. Congratulations to Mount Vernon FFA Illuminati. Um, it's, it's, it's alumni. I know how to read, Landry. Okay. Okay. Okay, congrats to them for placing second in Illinois with our alumni chapter at the 52nd Illinois FFA Alumni Conference. We were able to raise $38,015 for the FFA Alumni Scholarship with our high school students to attend leadership conferences this year. Tammy Paget at the Mount Vernon FFA Alumni Association alumni. President received the Outstanding FFA Alumni Member of Illinois. Seniors, OM scholarship applications are due in the principal's office by February 2nd. Late submissions will not be accepted. Going to college is expensive and nobody can afford missing any scholarship money possible. I'm busy. I'm trying to play this game. Dang it, I died. Anyway. Attention all students. Attendance in in incentive program. Perfect attendance for the year. Receive an MVTHS yearbook. Perfect attendance for the second semester. Receive a $25 gift card. That's $25. Any gift card of your choice, I think? Yep. Okay, good. I'm getting an Amazon card. Two or fewer days absent first and second semester. Receive an MVTHS perfect attendance shirt. 
Hoarding information for Joyce's class rings, letter jackets, or any other senior items is available in the main office. Are any of you guys getting a letter jacket or a class ring? I would get a class ring, but I kind of sent mine to the Shadow Realm, and it doesn't exist anymore, sadly. What about yours? Well, I might. I don't know. <laughs> You're being silly. very sarcastic with that. That's pretty rude, if you ask me. There were nice rings, too. Yeah. I sense your sarcasm, Kelly. Good. Anyway, I might get one, but those items, wouldn't you agree, last a really long time. And speaking of time, our time-traveling reporter has returned, and we never thought we'd see him again. When did he come from? When did he go? Take it away. Here's James Norman Holly. No, he didn't. Ironic, isn't it? By Emperor Palpatine of the Star Wars series. It's currently March 5th, 1953, and I'm outside the personal residence of Joseph Vasarinovich Stalin, the Kustevo Daka. Stalin is right now 78 years old and will soon be dead. He's currently in his office, yet to be discovered by his guards, until 11 p.m. tonight. The man who beat Hitler and led one of the worst dictatorships in the world is dying, not of poison, but of a heart attack caused by his excessive smoking. That's right, he wasn't felled by an assassin, but his own bad health choices. It seems the Man of Steel's lungs have finally rusted. Back to you, Comrade Landry. Thank you, James, for that. That was probably the least explosive way he could have gone. Thank you guys for joining in to this lovely Ramcast. And make sure to check out the Sportscast for this week with hosts Cam Meyer and Demetrius Lenar. I would like to thank my lovely hosts that I have with us, Callie and Corey. <laughs> They killed Corey! No! Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.